Are your arms small? Maybe you've been running too much and your arms aren't filling out your youth medium Abercrombie and Fitch t-shirt anymore. And now you have to make a video to try and grow those arms. Wait, am I talking about myself? I'm gonna give you the nine best exercises that you can use to blow up your arms and we're gonna start right now. The easy answer to getting huge arms is just blasting synthol and looking like a freak. Most newbies think that blasting arms with isolation exercises is the key to actually getting bigger, but it's not that simple. We need to be adding a little bit more load. I'm going to give you the first key exercise that's going to give you big arms, but first we've got to break down hypertrophy and the actual muscles that we want to be training. For muscular hypertrophy, sarcoplasmic and myofibular, we need to have some type of mechanical tension. When we have mechanical tension, that's going to lead to an adaptation to actually increase muscular size. We also might need to have some type of muscular damage. That's gonna help with myonuclei donation and lead to greater strength, but also lead to greater muscular size as well. <laughs> we also need to make sure that we're training to grow the brachialis, the biceps, the triceps, the brachioradialis, all the forearm muscles, all the little extensors and flexors here in your forearm. So those are the things that we need to actually work on. And the exercises that we need to select from are going to target this entire region. And that is what's gonna lead to swole as arms. So that first exercise has to be a direct shot to the balls of the tricep. And that means that you should do your effing dips, okay? One of the big things that I like is that dips should be about 117% of your best bench press. We should be able to dip more than we can actually bench if we're adding in our body weight. Now, dips crush the triceps. The triceps are gonna be responsible for elbow extension from this position. If we get a nice full range of motion, we will train a little bit of the pecs as well. Oh, I also recommend using something like a Mattis cluster set or going a little bit heavier. That's gonna help you identify where the weak point of your triceps actually are. That was heavy. Check out our previous video on the Mattis cluster set so that you can actually understand what that is. So you really wanna train those biceps. We wanna get those feckers big. This next exercise is going to be absolutely fantastic for adding a larger load to your biceps. That's gonna help you increase your overall size. But before I annihilate those arms, I wanna make sure that my recovery is absolutely on point. And that's why I recommend today's video sponsor, AG1. AG1 is comprehensive daily nutrition made powerfully simple. It's made up of 75 high quality whole food source ingredients, including vitamins, minerals, superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens, carefully curated to nourish all of the body's systems holistically. So we're gonna do a back supported easy bar curl, okay? Now, one big factor is that when you're standing, you typically can produce a little bit more force. That means that we can use a little bit more weight. I know I only have 25s on, but I'm just demonstrating for the video. Don't judge me too much. One of the other big factors here is that if we go three sets of five to seven, maybe we do a set of nine to 12, something like that, that's gonna lead to some big hypertrophic gains. While I'm doing these curls, did you know that AG1 has prebiotics, digestive enzymes, it's gonna help improve your microbiota diversity. And that's what makes AG1 so fantastic. I've been using AG1 since before they became our video sponsor. It tastes great and all you have to do is take one scoop or one pack with eight to 12 ounces of water every single day. It's become an easy part of my daily routine, even if that next exercise is a little tricky. Bear with me here. We're gonna go into the lying cable curl, okay? So we're gonna grab the cable, lay up, and we wanna be lying down. So this is going to minimize the amount of hip action that we would put into the curl. Now, let's do a badass drop set. Let's say we take five sets of nine that we're doing over on the actual back supported easy bar curl, right? So that's gonna be 45 total reps. What we wanna do then is do the lying cable curl for 45 straight reps. That's gonna be a crazy drop set that's gonna absolutely destroy your biceps and your brachioradialis. I just wanna keep doing this to get a little bit more of a pump. 
Now, let's talk about AG1. So if you want to get on your AG1 kick, head over to athleticgreens.com slash garage strength, where you can get a full year's supply of vitamin D3 with K2. That's going to absolutely optimize your overall health. On top of that, you can get five travel packs of AG1 so you can start to feel a little bit better and increase that biodiversity. Now, step up your AG1 game today and we're gonna get into that next crazy exercise. All right, so maybe you're missing some of those compound movements that can still increase your overall size of your arms. So one of those exercises that I love to use that absolutely blasts my biceps and my forearm, my forearm sort of looks big because I'm a little pumped from doing those lying cable curls. It's gonna be a close grip curl up. I still like calling it curl ups because when I use the word curl up with high school kids, they like to do it more because they think they're doing a curl which increases their biceps so it plays a really good mental game. Use that in your coaching tips, okay? I wanna do three sets of five weighted. So I might put a chain around my neck, uh, I might put a 25 pound kettlebell on, whatever that is, three sets of five. Then I wanna do one drop set to failure. And I like to play games too. If I have an NCAA athlete or somebody who's trying to be a state champ, I'll say you've gotta get 17 reps if you wanna be an All-American. And that exercise is gonna look like this, okay? We're here. We wanna have a lengthened bicep. Come up. Come down, okay? Come back up. And you can even try and squeeze at the top where we wanna squeeze the lats and the biceps to get the sternum to the bar, okay? Here. Boom. So this is also going to blow up that pronator teres, which will help improve your size of your forearms as well. Now, we've talked about pre-fatigue in past videos, including in a very recent short. One of the ways that we can use pre-fatigue is by using fat bar preacher curls. Now, let's go back through these exercises that we've given you so far. We've given you dips. That was the kick in the balls, right? The balls of the tricep, not my actual balls. Then we gave you the standing post curl with the easy curl bar. Then we gave you the lying cable curl. Oh, I just hit myself in the head. Then I gave you the close grip curl ups. Close grip chin ups. Now I have the fat bar preacher here. So if we do three sets of seven, and every time that we do a set of seven, we go do a set of five on the curl ups. Okay, then we come over here and we do a drop set. Maybe we're doing 20 reps. And then after we do that drop set here, we go back to the close grip curl ups. That's gonna be pre-fatigue where we're using an isolation movement with that compound exercise. I'm really getting a good pump. I can hear all the athletes out there. All the athletes are saying, none of this stuff is gonna make me a better athlete. But just wait a second. I've got an incredible movement that's gonna help you be a better athlete, more explosive, and fill out those sleeves. Okay, this next exercise, remember, this is gonna make you more athletic. This is like a shot in the ass on the downstroke, which is a lyric from my favorite song, Soul Flower from the far side. Okay, so what we wanna do is if we look at this, we have something set up for explosive push-ups. This gives us a target. This is an exercise that we can use for people that are throwing punches, stiff arms, shot putters, anything like that. So I'm gonna show you just a normal explosive push-up to the bench. Here, up. Absolutely great way we can do like a little bit of a depth drop. Boom, boom. Okay. Now, to make this crazy, I'm gonna go into a hold on a med ball, okay? This is gonna force crazy trunk control. It's very, very challenging. You've gotta widen your feet a little bit, but it will blow up your pecs, and it will also significantly increase the size of your tricep. So what I'm gonna do here is here, boom, boom, boom. And when we hold here, I'm gonna squeeze in this downside of my ab. I'm holding on my right side, and I wanna feel tension through my triceps, through my abs, and squeezing here. Okay, so we can do four or five on the right side, four or five on the left side, but really, it's the depth drop, the explosiveness, and then that isometric action. Now think about this. If I'm wrestling, and I'm here, sort of pushing into somebody, or let's say I'm a fighter, or I'm an offensive lineman, and I hit some force here, and there's some give back. This is gonna help me feel that boom and hold. It's gonna help you with that force output, that really rapid force output, but it's also gonna make you more athletic and ideally get big arms. All right, so let's take a GS Classic, okay, homers. We call them homers, and we were doing these before anybody. Go check out old school garage times, but what we wanna do is we're gonna do a walk when we're holding at 90 degrees. When we get to the end, 
we're gonna do a specific type of curl. Now, I'm gonna show you with our garage grips, okay? So we got these sweet garage grips. We're gonna put this on here. I'm gonna put this over and I'm gonna show you how to do a crazy variation. So now we've got the garage grips. We're gonna walk. I'm gonna get here. I'm gonna go 12 reps with a Zotman curl. So remember, we talked about brachialis, brachioradialis, biceps. This is gonna be crazy. This is crazy. This is how you get a pump. Okay, so we wanna go 10 to 12 reps. Uh, and now I'm gonna go back. I'm destroyed. I'm gonna hold it 90 degrees and walk all the way back. I get to the end and I do Zotman curls again. Holy shit, my freaking brachialis is actually pumped. This is a great finisher. I do three to four sets until your forearms feel like they're gonna fall off. So when we're talking about the next exercise, I wanna go back to the very beginning where we talked about the Mattis cluster set with dips. One of the cool parts around the Mattis cluster set are doing something with a compound movement like a dip and seeing that point of failure is that then we can treat that point of failure. We can prescribe more volume to that area. So for failing at lockout, we wanna improve the lockout of our triceps. So I wanna use this next exercise to piece that together to improve my dips if I can't lock out. So this exercise is going to be called the Ghostface Kella. And this is named after one of the best rappers from the 90s and the early 2000s who also has the best album, ironically from like 2010, Apollo Kids. Make sure you guys download that today after you listen to the Farsight song I referenced earlier, Soul Flower. So on page 71 of Bison Tries 2, my seminal work on how to get bigger arms, I actually reference the Ghost Face Killer, and this is how it's done. We're gonna sit upright. Okay, so I'm here, and I wanna do, let's say, 10 to 12 seated extensions. And I'm using a fat bar. You don't have to use a fat bar. Yeah, fat bar here, 10 to 12. Now, I wanna come back, okay? And I wanna do the classic skull crusher here. 10 to 12, okay? I wanna focus on that lockout, focus on the lockout, okay? Now I wanna freaking really fatigue those triceps. 10 to 12, probably a little bit past 12. Now, this is where the last part comes into play. This is what's gonna help fix that dip lockout, uh, hopefully. So now, we can go here, and do a nice, easy, close grip extension when we're already fatigued, okay? And what I wanna see is this could be 30, 40, 45 reps, something like that, where you're just absolutely torched and you can't press it anymore. You gotta have your training partner pick the bar off your chest and your triceps are finally filling out that pop collar Abercrombie and Fitch t-shirt that you bought in college. Oh! Now, the next one I have gotten hate DMs over, okay? And this is on page 34 of Buys and Tries 2. And the problem around this, the, the hate that I got was that I actually wrote something called the best way to use a glute ham bench. Now, I'm gonna give you two options here. I call these the dumbbell head curls, and I wanna use the glute ham bench almost as though my preacher bench is gonna be there, okay? So I'm here, oh, I get set. And I'm gonna come over top here and curl up. Now, notice how the weight is distributed. It's out. Makes it a lot harder at the top of the curve. Let's do two more, because this is blown up again. We're looking at biceps, brachioradialis, brachialis. My forearms are getting crushed. Now, the cool thing, is that we set up our power elastics on this as well. I love using the glute ham for what it's meant to be used for, which is training posterior chain. I've got tons of videos on that, right? But if you wanna blow up your biceps, you can do the dumbbell head curls after you pick up Buys and Tries Volume 2 at GarageStrength.com. Then you can go set up on your glute ham. You can use the dumbbell and then you can finish with a crazy band workout. So we're here. I've got the HAF band here. Okay, so we could use this like that and do it bilaterally until we just die. Still holding on to this because I wanna use this for a unilateral movement. So I'm here and I just get a crazy pump. 50 to 100 straight curls. 
oh, I hope my arms actually look big on camera. Now, one thing we can also do is we can wrap this, okay? We can go like this, here, and we can either go bilateral, if that's a little heavy, or if you've got strong biceps, you can go unilateral like this. And you can go fail on the left, fail on the right, back and forth, and then do one more set with that dumbbell head curl. So again, it comes back to using the dumbbell over the glute ham, go till you fail, use the bands, the power elastics, also available at garagestrength.com. Maybe you can buy these together and you can actually blow up with a ton of blood cranking into those biceps at the end of this workout. But being real, in order to build maximum muscle on those upper arms and your forearms, we've got to have a good program. And that's exactly why we built Peak Strength. Peak Strength is our app that's intuitive and you can actually teach that app. If you don't have barbells, you can replace that barbell movement with a dumbbell and that's gonna help improve the overall understanding for your programming. It's gonna be based off of your customized feedback. If you head over to peakstrength.app, the Google Play Store or the Apple iOS Store, you can pick that up today for seven free days of training before you begin that journey of attaining peak strength. Because remember, freaks, if you guys wanna become a champion, you've always gotta cultivate your power. Peace.